Let's go with minimal damage. Haha. <laughs> Back, ladies and people, to Archai Median Dynasty. We are picking up uh, right where we left off at Vespucci, uh, getting all the extra missions done uh, in this place. So uh, we can get as much money as we can because right now we can really use it. Let's uh, talk to Weasel here. I'm Weasel, the Argentine wizard, and just now I'm thinking about something very funny. So you better leave me alone, killer. I like a good joke. What's on your mind? How the great Dead Eye Flint destroys that bad, bad garbage. <laughs> you should bottle that laugh and sell it to women. Listen to me, Garbage Terminator. I have the jobs and don't forget it. Well, I'm listening. Go find Diddy Spangler on Magellan. He's not stingy. Get into his place. How do I pull that off? He'll ask you what you think of his ghastly wards. You say that simply looking at him could cause a guy to lose his kidney stones. Great, all Aqua's full of comedians. Hey, that's Weasel Humor. I'm his best friend. You'd have to be. Well, I guess that's a compliment, sort of. Uh, I could buy the Vendetta 2, the other gun. Because now I do have enough money, uh, I might save up for the Vendetta 3 right away. Uh, but I'm not buying it here yet, because as you can see it's more expensive than in Topo's Asylum. So I'll uh, head to the Asylum uh, once again to upgrade, because that gives uh, me as much credits as I possibly can. Um, I, nah, I don't need a repair yet, so let's leave it at that and head to Magellan, because we need to find Diddy Spangler. And that actually puts us into a mission. On the way to Magellan you are attacked by two lost combat pilots. Luckily their ships are in worse condition than yours. Even though I didn't repair my damage, but who cares. So, attack first, ask questions later. Gotcha. I don't even know what they're talking about, but uh, you guys can read that. Blah, blah. Let's go. And we are back at Magellan, extraction of biogenic sediments, 5,423 meters. So let's go find uh, Diddy Spangler. Be sure you can't talk to him. It's not really a dark guy, but I guess. Actually, I'm curious what the prices are over here, since this is the starting point. No, same price. So, Topos Asylum is cheapest. So, here's Diddy Spangler. I am Diddy Spangler. What's up with you, stranger? I am looking for a job. Tell me, why are you staring at my warts? Don't you like it? Uh, so Weasel told us uh, about the kidney stone. Sure, just looking at it might make me pass my kidney stone. You know, I think you're alright pal. Sure. Haha, <laughs> you've been talking to Weasel, am I right? Yeah, what about the job? It's worth 2000 credits. Take these secret documents to Rita Clack. She's somewhere in Vespucci. Okay, it's as good as done. And stay ready, mercenary. My enemies are very interested in seeing these documents. Tough luck for them. 2000 credits, that's nice. Then can probably get the Vendetta 3, maybe? No, not yet. Almost. Uh, yes, let's uh, get this mission done. We 
we just came from Vespucci and now we're going back. Well, ambush. The anarcho should have been driven away from Vespucci, but it seems some are still hanging around. And the other documents you're carrying in your ship. Okay, so it seems like a battle. Long surge detected. No. No. Uh torpedo. Hug the sea bat. I'm very good Some at that. Already. Boom. Get you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's go. With minimal damage. Haha. Vespucci. Extraction of biogenic sediments. Now 4,988 meters. Great. Now to find Rita Clag. Not in the crew room. Not in the hangar. Not in the hangar either. Probably not in the weapon store too. There she is. What is it, mercenary? <laughs> I've got some documents for you. With regards from Diddy. <laughs> There's actually an option to say nothing. I highly doubt that will bring any good. Come on. Well done, sweetheart. And here are your well earned credits. It was my pleasure meeting you. That's it. Credits are always good. Actually, I think I can buy the Vendetta 3. Uh, almost. Uh, maybe in Topos Asylum? Should I upgrade to the Vendetta? Two or wait. Tough uh, decision. I'm not sure if you can actually downgrade and get your money back. Let's uh, head to Topos Asylum and see if that is the case. Go, go, go. Topos Asylum, El Topos Fortress, 2826 meters. Great, I'll make a quick save and see if the weapon stealer does what I expect it to do. So here we are, the arm stealer. Check the gun, 3055. 67, no, I can't afford that, I'm going to do a repair first. And let's buy this one. And see. Yeah, so you do get your money back if you sell it again. Actually, you can gain money by doing this. I don't think you can gain money on buying and selling torpedoes. Unless there are torpedoes that aren't in stock at some other station, then you can't get money off of them. Uh, am I going to do this? Yes, I am. Oops. So that is one way of making money in this game. By uh, buying cheap and selling high. So I can buy the revolver now as well. So I'm going to do that. 24, 44. As you can see, if you get downgraded again, I get that back. Let's see. Probably should buy the buzzer. I can't buy any of these yet. So uh, that's the trick. Uh, well, trick. Right now it doesn't really give you very much, but let's uh, get to entry points. Here we are. Entry point two. Entry point two. Jump star. 1036 meters. Great. So you'll find these jump stars uh, all over Aqua. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, the things on an entry point star always are more expensive than at other places. Because as you can see, the technology is also better here. So that's uh, obvious that things are more expensive as well. So let's see if, oh, I can't even downgrade the thing. Um, 
the only revolvers. So that's not going to work, unfortunately. We have leeches. I like the leeches. They are pretty expensive too. But I can still use my trick by going to another station because I know for a fact that things were more expensive there. Uh, let's talk to Bob Graver anyway. Light. Light. My name's Emerald Flint. How do you do? I'm Bob Kramer, manager for the Anthrax Corporation. Interesting. So far I've only met the desk ladies in the jump stars. Oh yes, I find them unnerving. Do you quarrel with them often? Well, I think this fits uh, Flint. Not often enough, if you know what I mean. Well, I believe I know. But I'll probably remain dream. And I can probably do without the hassle. Ah, that's how I see it too. Honestly, they have the appeal of a block of ice. If you would excuse me now, I do have work to do. I don't think you can get a job from him, but I might try some uh, other options and maybe get back uh, if you can actually get a job out of that. Let's see. Oh, there's this traveler. Let's talk to him too. Are you taking the ship to Atacama City too? Yeah, the women on staff are pretty cute, don't you think? I wouldn't even think about it. They are tough cookies. Antwerp can afford to treat its customers poorly because they have the monopoly. They should break Antrox up. Their company in private hands shouldn't control all aqua. Even the anarchic tornado zone can't shake them off. None of the government blocks have dethroning Antrox on their agenda. I don't believe the problem will be solved politically. Politically. What politician is going to turn down the money Antrox hands out? In my experience, politics doesn't usually change much anyway. And sometimes it's best that you don't. Agree. Excuse me, I need to check in. Uh, we're not checking in yet, because uh, that will take us to Atacama City and continue the story, but I want to show the trick first. So let's uh, head away. Let's uh, go to Magellan. Back where we started and skip the cutscene because you know that one already. Magellan, extraction so, of biogenic uh, sediments, 5,423 meters. I don't mind visual glitches, so I don't know why they're happening, but oh well. Uh, arm stealer, here you are. <laughs> so, actually, yes, I can also sell my sensor again, get a bit from that as well. See, 3150. And look at that, 8,000 credits. But I'm going to need to buy my sensor back and all, so uh, let's see if there's anyone to talk to here. No. So then uh, I'll head back to the asylum. Topos Asylum, El Topos Fortress, 2826 meters. And if we head to the arms dealer again, let's see if we can buy everything back. And as you can see now, I can buy Vendetta 3. Great, I'm all set for the tornado soon. Can't buy the revolver, but I'm not going to use any torpedoes either, because as you can see, my credits are pretty much done for. So, yes, uh, great, let's uh, head back to the Jump Star and get ready to head for Atacama City. Point two, jump star, one thousand thirty-six meters. And I'll make a quick save. So let's go talk to the desk lady or the public servants. Light, what can I do for you? By the way, I uh, tried to talk uh, with Bob again, see if there was a mission out of that, but uh, whatever options he chose, uh, it didn't. So <laughs> we can just uh, move to Atacama City because we're all done here. 
You can come with me to the Malayan Archipelago. Sorry, you'll have to contact our house to surface. That's desk 15. Hit and sunk. Any hope of a meal? Yes, your ticket, please. Sure, got a one way ticket to the nicest place in the tornado zone. Oh, Atacama City is a dream. It's an incredible cave, hung out of solid, solid rock. You know your way around? Yes, I have relatives there. Interesting. Where can a guy get a decent synthetic claret and snack on a few chemo muscles? Forget the bars in the city, they were worthless. The local gourmets meet out at uh, Garcia's Lounge on Scavenger. Thanks for the tip, I'll keep it in mind. Please be careful when you dock, sir. The Antrox Corporation wishes you a pleasant trip. And I think there's going to be a cutscene now. Antrox has a worldwide monopoly on jump ship manufacturing and technology. Up to now, Nobody's been able to explain to me how they managed to accelerate their jump ships, ships as long as 500 meters, to an underwater speed of 500 miles per hour. Among other things, the ships have a so-called dipole drive, an endless chain of series-connected electromagnets that charge the water molecules alternately positive and negative, setting them in rotation. An extensive system of veins offers the attack surface needed to convert the energy of rotation into shear energy. If it weren't for the ships and the network of jump points covering Aqua, the world wouldn't go round anywhere near as fast. No wonder El Topo is trying to break Entrox's monopoly. Fast transport, as well as the production of breathing gas and energy, are almost entirely in its hands. If Entrox's boss ever got a notion to close up shop, chaos would rule over Aqua. Enter point six. Jumpstar, 923 meters. And that's an introduction to Antrox. Uh, we still have to head to Atacama City. So these are really big ships and oddly enough I highly doubt that they are able to carry the boat you're uh, driving, not driving, uh, whatever you're going around in. Uh, so uh, I wonder how your boat gets here because if you look here, you still have it. Anyway, um, let's see if there is anything to. Oh, Singbun. Let's talk to Singbun. I am Singbun. Nobody speaks to Singbun without permission. Great. I am a nobody and I need money. I only give jobs to experienced people. So it's me fine. I'm a nobody who is experienced. Oh yeah? How about letting me demonstrate it on you? Well, I don't usually trust strangers, but I have a problem. Have you ever heard the name Iwan King? Yes, he's one of the warlords at Galapagos. Despicable man. He has challenged me to a duel. He claims I embezzle from the income he makes with this chemical protein in Natakama City. So, where do I fit in? I must go to Atacama City, but I fear for my life. King has terrorist students in everywhere. So, you want me to watch your back? What's the pay? I'll give you 2,000 credits for doing me a little favor. Right then, let's get going. We never turn down credits, of course, so let's do this. Uh, I'm going to make a quick save and I'll see you at the mission. So Atacama City, here we come. Attack. Singen has a good reason for staying home all day. And King's men are eager to show him what happens to people who break King's rules. Now you have to show them your rules. Here we go. Bomber surge detected. Oh. That's a lot of enemies. Sonar ready. Just take one, one by one. And uh, F A. Oh. That's a lot of gunpowder. Firepower, not gunpowder. 
I like Defend that F3. So let's go and hope the navigation point reached. Uh, swim into the mines. It's not swim. What do you call moving underwater? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Looks like they're still alive. I hear explosions. Target destroyed. Active mines. And more enemies. Oh. Can I avoid those as well? Me. Yeah, I'm going to attack them. This is so much better than the first one that time. doesn't do anything. Passive mines actually follow you if you go close. These are passive mines, they don't really do anything. Or they don't follow you around anyway. Just there is. Right there. Power surge to check. Fly into the mines. There we go. Target destroyed. I love functioning plants. Go to Nav B, it's an electric outpost. I've already been there, but oh well. I'm way too good, I didn't take any damage. Uh -huh. Where do the active mines come from? Someone settled here again. Yes, they did. Oh, 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 I did take damage. That's too Power bad. Surge detected. Target destroyed. Autopilot available. Oh, wow. Here we go. On the eastern edge of the tornado zone off the coast of South America, the busy anarchos have closed off a rock cave in the continental slope and filled it with Helinox breathing gas. Atacama City, it's called. The dream of every inhabitant of Aqua who yearns to feel solid ground underfoot once in their life. In this chaotic labyrinth of rocks, pipes, and tunnels, I expect to track down El Topo's informer, most likely in a bar serving cold girls and warm beer. Cold girls and City. Cave City. 5,285 meters. So yes, this is a cave city. And we did our job well. I thought my hour had gone over the R2000 credits. My pleasure. Take care of yourself, Singen. That's always good. Now we can buy even more stuff. Anyway, we're in Atacama City, where we want to be, we're in the tornado show now, so that's a whole different place, and uh, we've seen enough cutscenes uh, for now, which uh, makes a good uh, third episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, Piedros out.